Morning everybody, happy home brew Wednesday, it's um, Wednesday the 27th of July, it must be going on 20 past 10, 8, maybe half past 8. Um, I'm doing a brew day video, so you'll get bits of footage uh, throughout the uh, day. I'm brewing a porter, I haven't brewed an English style porter for quite a while. The only difference with today, uh, from a normal brew day, is that I've got a visitor coming to help me brew. I won't say who it is yet, but he does have a YouTube channel and he is another home brewer and a very good friend of mine and I believe he's on his way now. So I'll get back to you when he's here. See you in a bit. Well, here he is. It's uh, David, Cheshire Home Brew. He's come to brew with me today. Yeah. Welcome, sir. Welcome to your South Yorkshire. To it. A full blown this time. Yes, we're not drinking no, it, silly door. Today, so. We've got his recipe. Oh, we need some ops. Uh, let's have a. Um, we're at strike temperature 66, wait, 67. He's brought me some amber malt. And uh, Challenger. Challenger, I'll weigh them out. So we'll get cracking. Yep. Nice to see you, David. Yeah, nice to be here, yeah. Well, David's doing all the hard work, he's uh, mashing in. Could be a special brew this one, I can feel it. Oh yeah, definitely. We've got the dark malts at the bottom, that's why it's not gone dark yet. But we've got ordinary uh, colour Marisotta, not low colour. Don't need low colour in a porter, do you? <laughs> so yeah, we'll get on. We're supposed to be mashing at uh, 66, we're not far off. Yeah, we should get to chocolate malt soon, Dave. Right, good. Yeah, we'll crack on. Very good. Well, we're sparging now, but we've got a bit of a stuck sparge because there's a fair bit of wheat in there. So I've taken the top plate off. So we're putting water in and stirring it in. It's got a bottom plate on, so we're not putting any grains in. That's it. Way, no? Yeah, we've got a professional doing it now. <laughs> not a raggy lad like me. Should, should be a good brew. Yeah, we hope so. It's had a mash out at uh, 75. So it's uh, it's well on its way. So we'll get on with sparging now. Well, we're boiling now, as you can see. We've just put 40 grams of Challenger hops in. Uh, and me and David have just been watching it patiently. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time for some lunch, David, yeah, in a bit. Yeah, lovely, yeah, can't wait. Um, and what's his next edition? 10 minutes, is 10 it? 10 minutes, yeah, that's the... the East Kent Goldings, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they're weighed out yeah. already. I think they're yeah, over here, look. Oh yeah, I've got them. There's a protoflot and some yeast nutrient as well. So we'll have some lunch and, uh, oh, look what we've got. You lift that up, David, that malt pipe. We've got all that to put in yet. There's over a litre there, it's still dripping. Uh, I might have overshot with me uh, water, but we'll put it in with about 40 minutes left. I'll boil some off first. Right, we've finished. David's transferring the uh, wort into the fermenter. It's a little bit thick, don't you think, David, that liquid? It is, look at you. Yeah, yeah we're, we're trying to catch a few bits and pieces. Yeah, it's a bit murky, but it'll be my fault because it was me that designed the recipe. But it, it could be good, let's not be too pessimistic. Yeah, sure we're aiming for 25 litres, so we'll get back to you when we've finished and show you how much uh, we've got in. Well, I still haven't pitched the yeast because it's 31 de degrees, so it's just a bit over. And we've only got 23 litres, so uh, we're just giving it half an hour to cool it down, then we'll get the yeast in. But we've got an OG of 1050, so uh, we'll see what it's like. Well, that's the end of the brew day. David's gone home. Uh, I've just stood it there now, it's still cool in a... I think a pitch yeast about 29 degrees Celsius. Um, it might drop a bit cold in here, so I might take it up to house. But anyway, yeast pitched, and uh, as I said, OG 1050. We might get a 5% porter. Anyway, I'll, I'll catch up with you on that one. Anyway, David's got home safe, and he swapped me a few beers. I gave him some, and he gave me some. So before I go, I wanted to try uh, a couple for you. And it says raw. Now apparently this is a raw ale that David made. And apparently a raw ale is one that uh, you just don't boil the malt. You mash, but you don't boil it. It must cool it down and just put the yeast in. Never had one. I wouldn't know 
anything about it but it just says raw and then there's a version 2 that says 5.9 percent well first thing i can't get bloody top off right this is rather embarrassing try the other hand no i'll tell you what <laughs> i'm not i'll try it second one raw 5.9 i might need me still some grips i'll get back to you <laughs> my strength's gone Sorry about this. Well, second attempt. I found some Stilson grips. Bloody hell. I've done it. That was not coming off without force. Whew. So this is the raw ale, version one. It looks as if it's quite uh, lively. I don't know what he's put in it. I mean, other than he hasn't boiled it. And he did warn me it might give you the, uh, you know, that trouble you have when something doesn't agree with your stomach, you know, the after effects. Of, uh, but we'll see. Well, it's very murky, isn't it? Very gassy and very murky. So, uh, smells all right. It smells like beer. Um, it just says raw ale. I have no idea what malts or anything. Um, he didn't boil it. Has he put hops in? No idea. But I'll have a taste. Mmm. Bitter. You wouldn't know it hadn't been boiled. But it is bitter. I think it's an acquired taste. Um. Lots of malt. Mm. Not like what I can say really. I don't think I'll be making one anytime soon. But yeah, an interesting experiment. I suppose in the past they might have made uh, ales where they didn't boil, it, boil them. Just mashed. And then <clears throat> let the natural yeast in the air ferment them out <coughs> and uh, would save them on fuel wouldn't it uh, but yeah i won't be making one soon put it that way but it's it's okay i'm drinking it whether well, uh, bloody wasps are, are liking it anyway we've had a lot of wasps today anyway uh i'll get this drunk and i'll let uh I'll let you know how this one, this porter turns out here. Um, it was rather thick and soupy when we were transferring. So uh, it did have some oats in it, a couple hundred grams. <coughs> Sorry about this folks. It, just a minute. That bloody thing. We've had this trouble all day. I'm not editing it out. You can, oh, we've got to it now. Anyway. Happy brewing, everybody, and uh, I'm going on a wasp-killing expedition. Thanks for listening and watching. Cheers. All the best.